Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Zims, and welcome back to the Either Within. We last left off, we beat the little guy with the little combination safe thing on his head, but I guess he didn't have enough money because he just went bankrupt when I took him out. That was ugly, it was corny, and I didn't like it. Let's get back into Chapter 8. Hopefully, this one is fun and action packed as the last one was. Lots of killing, lots of enemies, bosses, cutscenes, a lot of stuff going on. If you haven't seen the last video, I'll leave a link down in the description. Without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> Chapter chapter eight, a plant seed will grow. What seed? No, take that back. Edit it. Put my crossbow. Back up. Oh, man. I thought he kept coming. I was like, chill. Wait, what's that is my shotgun on him? Out of ammo? Oh man, I guess that's how it goes. That's not gonna work. Oh, Jesus. Oh my, what? What the hell? Yo, this is not a good start. I don't know what that was. I'm missing. All my freaking sniper bullets. I don't have no ammo. They should have like a little uh, little gun shop. It's like you can use your brain juice to buy like weapons and stuff like that. Like a little cutscene market. Kind of like a Zer dude from like um, Destiny. But something where you can buy weapons. So the ammo, they don't, they don't give you a lot of anything on here. Which makes it better, I guess, but. Oh my God, nice. Get it. It's about to be action packed. We're getting what we asked for. Go. Oh, dang. Take bullets. Woo! Baby. Get out of my face. I thought this was. in here. I need to get some bit of a crossbow action going if I can. Yeah. Get the harpoons. There we go. Go switch to that. I think they're pretty strong. Now they usually take one hit to kill them, so. Wait, come on, bro. What are you doing? What, oh my goodness. Look at this guy. You're drunk. Go home. Oh my goodness. I guess it doesn't matter how hard you tap. Fast you tap it, because I'll tap it super, like, quick, and then still go at the same speed. Wait, do I? Oh, they have keys in them. Wow, so this whole time I was missing keys. I have no matches. See anything? Please don't hurt me. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness, look at this guy. Oh, hurry up. Bring out the brain water, grab it. No. Are these free harpoons? Wow, there is. Ah! Ah! Oh, mommy Mia, and they shoot me. Help, help me, please. Let's get some healing action going up in here. There we go. I'm gonna squeeze through. 
please don't let nothing grab me. I will just like surely faint live on camera. Let's listen to this. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Delicious? What? So I think he was talking about those creatures we've been seeing. Because um, he said something about two of them stitched together and them thing had two heads. And there is look like they didn't know which direction. Oh my goodness. What is this? What the hell? Yo. What the freak? I don't know what that was. That was, oh my God, that was like little midgets. I just realized I wasted a lot of like half of my bullets trying to kill them thing things. Oh well, you live and you learn. Then after a while you forget. Oh no, we ain't playing this game. Get my pistol. Oh, my harpoon. My harpoon. No oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Sniper, reload that. I feel like I'm about to get attacked by like a zombie shark or something. <laughs> oh! dark. I didn't have my lamp on. Wow, what an idiot. Pass <laughs> through it. Let's go. Making progress. Checkpoint. That's not good. Who's that? Grab this. <laughs> More sniper bullets. They gave me a checkpoint, so something. 
bad is about to happen, and we all know it. Cave, no. I went into a deep. Uh, of course, there was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there would be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of the door. This door has to lead outside. The plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds. And I've been here placing for what it feels like an attorney unable to make this simplest choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms and I'll tell you that you were right and I'll never let you go. So what do I do? That cave, no, they're not telling me nothing. He said, let me look around. Okay, after doing my investigation, I did not find anything. So I'm gonna try to sneak past. Oh. Ah! Uh oh. Wait, pick up what? Oh, is this it? Forgive me. Guy came back, the one with the illusions. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. Exactly. And you need me to help. He... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything directly it's unprecedented the implications on psychology on pharmaceuticals on consciousness itself are you serious are you serious it's a fucking nightmare well i didn't say it was perfect especially not with such a unstable host great so your research partner is a psychopath and we're all inside his head what the hell? Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? He's nuts. Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. What the heck? Shoot it! this doctor journal of sebastian castellanos june 16 2009 we dropped off late for her first day at preschool this morning she's a brave girl she seemed like she'll be fine myra god bless her has a tough three years raising the baby is a full-time job but she's finally going to get the break she deserves by break i mean coming back to the kcpd missing persons brew 
uh, amount of disappearances here seem to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped. And Myra will help to see that. She's a damn good at her job. Obviously, happy to be back in her element. Well, that's cool, I guess. Nothing else in here. Okay, let's go. What the hell? Oh my goodness. I hope we don't gotta fight that dude. That wouldn't make no sense. He'll just break through that door. He just broke through like eight of them. That one didn't get me. Oh, wow. I'm going to end it right here, guys. If you enjoyed this chapter, be sure to like, comment, and on that subscribe button to be a part of the murder coast today. Again, if no one told you today, I love you. Thank you guys for stopping by. I had no idea that chapter 8 was going to be this short. If you haven't seen the last episode, like I said earlier, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Drop a like, drop a sub. We're almost to 500. Let's make it happen. After this game, let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what game we should play. If not, I'll check on Steam and see what we can find. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.